Hi, Peter. How are you? Hello, Ciro. How are you? Fine. That's great. You're the first one today. Yes. <laughs> how was your day? I day. I'm, I'm, I'm responsible. Yes, totally. Responsible. Yeah, responsible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Well, we have to begin because it's eight. Okay. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you. Here we go. Okay, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, it's okay. Okay, I great. See. Well, um, hello and welcome again. This is Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is Intermediate 3, Session 15. And today is September 28th, 2022 or 2022, as you prefer. So uh, what are we going to do? Well, we need to have a final review of uh, the unreal conditional sentences. And after that, we have uh, some vocabulary to study. Okay, so let's begin. For our final review, we have this. Well, first we have the lesson objective. So by the end of this class, participants will learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Before we continue, because you're the only student right now, let me send the message. I'm going to send a reminder, okay, that we have already started the class, but you're the only person present. So uh, I'm just going to send this message. Let's see. Hello, everybody. The class has already started. Okay, maybe they will join us soon. All right. So um, again, you're going to learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. So um, what about this exercise right here? We have a review. The first part is, um, we need to uh, study again, okay, how to form conditional, unreal conditional sentences. And uh, you have to remember that first we have a hypothetical condition. That's the first thing, okay? After that, we have an imaginary result. In the hypothetical condition, we use if, okay? That's very important, you have to use if. And then a subject, and then a verb in past form. That's very, very important you have to use a verb in past form in the if clause. Sometimes it will be affirmative, like in this case, have. Sometimes it will be negative. So you're going to use the negative form of past simple, which is didn't have. Okay, Sulma just joined us. Hello, Sulma. I think she's, uh, okay. Hi, Sulma, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Nady just joined us. Hello, Nady. She's connecting with the audio right now. Okay, hi, Nady. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome. All right, so again, right for um on real conditional sentences, we have a hypothetical condition and an imaginary result. In the hypothetical condition, we use if, we use a subject, and after that, a verb in past form, okay? You say, for example, if Mike had the money, then we use a comma. Then in the imaginary result, we need a subject, then would or could, and sometimes also might, and then a verb in base form. Why do we use a verb in base form? Well, it's easy because would and could are modal auxiliaries. And if you remember, there is a rule that says that after a modal auxiliary verb, you need to use a verb in base form. So the sentence is, if Mike had the money, comma, he would buy a car. But again, 
this is a, an imaginary situation. It doesn't reflect reality. It is different from reality. Okay, in reality, Mike doesn't have the money, so he can't buy a car. He has to travel by bus, okay, because he doesn't have the money. So when you say, if Mike had the money, he would buy a car, it's an imaginary or hypothetical situation, okay? That's something we need to remember. When real conditionals are called unreal because they are not real. ¿Ok? Por eso se llama unreal conditional, porque expresa una condición que no es real. ¿Ok? Es solo, solo está en su imaginación. Now, uh, something to remember also is that you don't necessarily have to begin with that condition and finish with a result. No, you can also start with the result and finish with a condition. For example, you can say, Mike would buy a car if he had the money and the sentence is okay. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. The only difference is if you begin with the result and you finish with the condition, you don't use a comma, okay? No comma for this type of sentence. But if you begin with the condition and you finish with the result, then the comma is necessary. You have to use it. So how do you recognize the condition? It's very easy. The condition begins with if. That's the condition. And also, when you see if, you know that the next verb will be in past simple. OK? That's very important. So we're going to do an exercise right here. And I need two volunteers to read this conversation but you have to use the verb in the correct form. Sometimes past simple, sometimes would plus the verb in base form, okay? So I need two volunteers. One is going to read part A and the other one part B. Who wants to participate? Who wants to try? Mm-hmm. What can you say? Sin miedo, intentémoslo. Es lo mismo que estuvimos haciendo ayer. Okay, Jessica. Jessica, please help me read A. He should have three months to travel. Mm -hmm. Where would you go? Where would you? Go. Go, okay. Thank you. That's correct. If you have three months to travel, where would you go? Si tú tuvieras tres meses para viajar, ¿a dónde irías? If you have, again, this is the condition. If indicates that the verb that follows will be in past simple form. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? What about the answer? I need another volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Mm -hmm. Zero. I tried, teacher. Okay. Oh, that's easy. I I would fly in Europe. I know always want to go there. That is correct. Very good. Okay. You say, oh, that's easy. I would fly to Europe. Mm, volaría a Europa. I've always wanted to go there. Siempre he querido ir ahí. Okay. Thank you very much, my two participants right here. Um, we need to continue. Okay. That's the first one. We have five conversations. So that's conversation one. Let's go for conversation two. Veamos. Quiero escuchar eh, las otras voces. ¿Verdad? No tengan miedo. Solamente apliquen lo que hemos estado viendo y va a estar bien. Si cometen un error, no hay problema. Simplemente lo vamos a corregir y vamos a aprender todos juntos. So what about the second conversation? I need a volunteer to read the first part. Part A, please. Who wants to try? Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Vamos, sin miedo. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Push the button. Raise your hand. Okay, Rebecca. Letter A. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport would you choose? That is correct. Thank you, Rebecca. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport would you choose? Very good. Um, and the answer, volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> it's easy, just try. Mm -hmm. So nobody, incredible. I can't believe it. Okay, Rodrigo, thank you. I'm not sure, but I would go jogging two or three times a week. Correct, very good. Thank you, Rodrigo. I'm not sure, but I would go jogging two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. Me iría a trotar dos o tres veces a la semana. Good, that's excellent. Conversation three, there are five conversations. This is conversation three. I need a volunteer for part A, please. Vamos. Who wants to try? I have eight students, okay? I need a volunteer for part A. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to try. Okay, Rodrigo. What uh, good you do if your teacher gave you a, a big um, by mistake? An A by mistake. An A is a 10. Right in uh, a different grading system, for example, in the United States, uh, grades are not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. No, they have A, they have B, they have C, etc. So A is a very good grade. It's a ten, basically. So what would you do if your teacher gave you an A by mistake? ¿Qué harías tú si tu profesor te diera o te pusiera un diez por error? Okay, so uh, thank you, Rodrigo. What about B? Who wants to try? Vamos, quiero escuchar a los, a los que, que están ahí calladitos. Mm -hmm. Who wants to participate? Let's practice this. Sulma. Uh, of course, I will say something. Immediately. Immediately. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Sulma. Of course, I will say something immediately, right? <laughs> Very good. Conversation four. Who wants to try? Who wants to try conversation four? Zero. Okay. You go for A. If you do friend, uh, when one is when it uh, many someone you didn't trust, mm -hmm. would you say something? Correct. Okay. Thank you, Ciro. That is correct. If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, would you say something? Si tu amigo o tu amiga quisiera casarse con alguien en quien tú no confías, ¿le dirías algo? 
So what's the reply? Letter B, let's try. Mm -hmm. It's easy, let's do it, let's try. Sin miedo al éxito, vamos. Uh -huh. Let's see, I have uh, Maritza, Marvin, Rodrigo Daniel. <laughs> okay, who wants to participate? Anybody can participate. Cualquiera puede participar, no hay problema. Veamos, what about letter B? This is conversation four. We have one more. Maritza. Uh, no, I not say anything. Anything, but anything. we need, but we need to use the model. In this case, would in negative form. Mm. No, I will not mm -hmm. say anything. I wouldn't say anything. And then? I... I will meet... Mind. Minute. I would mind... Mm. Mm -hmm. My own bushy. Business. I would mind my own business, okay? Yeah. Business, okay. Thank you, Maritza, that's good. But what is the meaning of this? Luego dice la persona, no, I wouldn't say anything. Yo no diría nada. I would mind my own business. Do you know the meaning of the expression? Mind your own business. Who knows the meaning? ¿Quién sabe qué significa eso? Cuando alguien le dice, mind your own business. ¿Alguna idea? Okay, mind your own business is an expression in English. Probably, okay, Sandra wants to participate. Mm, creo que es como, como es tu problema o... So, 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 so. Okay. <laughs> okay, mind your own business is una expresión que quiere decir no te metas en lo que no te importa. Así que si alguien le dice eso a usted, le está diciendo metido. Ah, así que cuidado ahí. ¿verdad? Si le dice a alguien, hey, mind your own business. Ok, le está, le está diciendo metido prácticamente. No te importa. Ok, entonces, ¿qué dice la persona acá? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, would you say something? And the other person says, no, I wouldn't say anything. I would mind my own business. ¿verdad? que sería forzadamente la traducción no me metería en lo que no me importa ¿verdad? o más bien me ocuparía de mis propios asuntos that's the meaning of that así que eh, tenemos esa expresión verdad mind your own business ok so uh, final conversation number five Volunteer, please, Who wants to try. Who wants to try conversation five. Letter A. Sin miedo, vamos. ¿Cuál es el pasado de sí, Ficha? Um, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> ¿Quién ayuda ahí? Nada más que nos diga el pasado de sí. ¿Cuál es? Ok, tenemos una entrada en el chat. Yeah, Zulma says so. That's correct. Ajá. Ok. Um, ¿Quién me quería participar ahí? Que me preguntó el pasado de sí. 
what uh, would hmm. you do if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? Thank you, uh, Rodrigo. What would you do if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? ¿Qué harías si vieras a tu estrella de cine favorita en la calle? What would you do if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? Okay, so the reply, who wants to try? This is the last one. Rodrigo Daniel. I wouldn't be shy. I wouldn't I would be shy. Uh -huh. For a photo and an autograph. Correct. Very good. I wouldn't be shy. I would ask for a photo and an autograph. Very good. Great. Nice. Now you're using unreal conditional sentences. Very good, everybody. We're going to do this activity. Take a look. And this time it's your turn. Complete the sentences. Choose from the box. Well, not not don't choose from the box. I'm sorry. This is from me. This is uh this is wrong. Just complete the sentences, let's say, with your own ideas. Okay. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. You have, for example, I would be happier if yo sería más feliz si digamos ganara más dinero, por ejemplo, si viviera en una casa más grande, si no sé, ¿qué lo haría más feliz a usted? If I could go anywhere in the world, yo iría a tal y tal lugar. I wouldn't be happy if, no sería feliz, si, y usted me dice que lo volvería infeliz. I would buy this and that if, y pone ahí su condición, and if I saw an accident in the street, I would, and then you tell me. We're going to form some breakout rooms. Quiero que juntos piensen en maneras para terminar estas oraciones. Aquí va a haber muchas respuestas diferentes. No hay una respuesta correcta definitiva. Muchas respuestas pueden ser correctas. Lo que yo quiero ver es que puedan ocupar la estructura correctamente. Ahora, lo que pongan va a diferir entre un grupo y el otro. So we have nine participants. We're going to form groups of three. So here we go. Room one, Ciro. Rebecca and Zulma. Room two, Maritza, Nady, and Rodrigo Daniel. And room three, Marvin, Rodrigo Antonio, and Sandra Patricia. I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. Everybody, join the groups, and I want you to think together how to complete these sentences. Use your imagination and try to use the correct form of the structure. Here we go. Sería feliz, sí. Yo sería feliz, sí. Sería más feliz. Partimos desde la idea que ya son felices, pero todavía más. Eh. Sería feliz si me sacara la lotería, sería feliz si eh, tuviera un carro nuevo, yo sería feliz si... No sé. ¿Qué los haría felices, más felices a ustedes? Aquí pueden ocupar su imaginación. Pongan lo que vaya. 
no hay ningún problema. Por ejemplo, yo, ¿eh? uh -huh. si viviera en una casa propia. Ok. ¿Cómo podríamos expresar eso en inglés? I'd be happier if... I have a, a new house. house. A new house. Okay, I'd be happier if I had an own house. If I had my own house. Okay. No. I would be happier if I had my own house. O pueden decir, I'd be happier if I lived in my own house. You can say that. Okay, nice. Ese es un ejemplo, pero de nuevo, hay muchas posibilidades acá. What about number two? If I could go anywhere in the world, ¿cómo nos quedaría eso? Si yo pudiera ir a cualquier lugar del mundo, yo iría a tal lugar. Sí, no me iría. Mm -hmm. What can you say? O oh, Rebeca. Uh, if I could go anywhere in the world, I would travel to Santorini. I would travel to to Santorini. Ok. Mira, muy bonito ahí, pero dicen que hay que hacer una cola solo para tomarse una foto. Sí. Ya me han contado gente que ha ido. <ríe> ok. All right. So, if I could go anywhere in the world, I would travel to Santorini. In Greece, right? In Grecia. Ok. Good. All right, I'm going to go into a different room. Please continue, and then we're going to check answers together. Um, for I will buy a car. Car if... for yourself. If... Uh -huh. Buy a car. Mm. If sería mm. I will buy a car if I have money. Okay. I would buy a car if I had money. Yes. <laughs> Justo lo que se necesita para un vehículo. Okay, I would buy a car if I had money. <laughs> estamos, estamos en la misma. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, Mm, moment, please. Okay. Mm. Rodrigo, no lo escucho. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay. There he is. <laughs> okay. And five. If okay. I saw a, an accident in the street, I will call an ambulance. Okay. Very good. If I saw an accident in the street, I would call an ambulance. Very good. That's a good alternative. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go into a different room now. So see you in a few minutes. Mm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh -huh. oh, for example. If is I I had money, quizá. Money, money. 
Tita y Wonda Lottery. That's is that number four? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. I will buy a Ferrari if I won the lottery. <laughs> yes. Yes. Totally. <laughs> I will. I, uh -huh. I will buy a. No, here in El Salvador, in El Salvador, I, I wouldn't buy a sports car. No, too dangerous. <laughs> in a different country, maybe. But in El Salvador, mm, no. <laughs> Not a good idea. Ferrari for the freeway. Freeway. Maybe. Yeah, maybe for the freeway. Okay. Let's see. Um, number five. Number five. Number five. Uh, so, an accident in the street. I will. I will be careful. Correct. I will, Maybe I would be careful. I will be careful. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um. We're going to close the breakout rooms now and we're going to check answers together. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Um, 50 seconds. Five seconds. Okay, everybody, welcome back. I'm going to start sharing the screen once again. Okay, there it is. Okay, take a look. Uh, the first one, let's see, what can you say? I'd be happier if... Veamos que... Ok, Zulma. I'd be happier if had lived on house. Ok, I'd be happier. Let's complete it here. Um, I'd be happier if... Ok, and then you say... We're going to complete it with a uh, possible causes. I'd be happier if I lived, you can say this, I lived in my own house. You can also say I'd be happier if I had my own house. Okay. Very good. A different answer. Who wants to try number one? Siempre la número uno. Que más podríamos contestar ahí o de qué otra forma podríamos completarlo. What else can you say? Mm -hmm. Vamos, quiero escuchar lo que hablaron en los grupos. Veamos. Sandra. Este, I slept more times tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I will be happier if I slept longer. Okay, longer means más tiempo. I'd be happier if I slept longer. Si durmiera más tiempo, ¿verdad? yo también sería muy feliz. <laughs> so, I'd be happier if I slept longer. Okay, very good. What about the second one? You have, if I could go anywhere in the world, Write it here. If I could go anywhere in the world, coma, what are some possible endings to this sentence? 
let's let's uh, participate. What can you say? If I could go anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. on tears, please. Vamos, sin miedo, demuéstrame que pueden ocupar la estructura. Maritza. I will go to Japan. To Japan. Okay. Japan. I would go to Japan. Okay, good. I will go to Japan. If I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to Japan. Thank you, Maritza. Very good. A uh, different ending to this sentence. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Vamos. ¿De qué otra manera podríamos terminar esta oración? I would go to the around the world. I would go around the world. Okay. Yeah. Sin un destino en específico, por todos lados andaría. So I would go around the world. Okay. You can say that, I guess. Very good. What about number three? Number three is I wouldn't be very happy if. No sería muy feliz si. Si no estuviera casado, si no tuviera mis hijos. No sé. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be very happy if, what do you have? Who wants to participate? Sandra. If I have no a family. Okay, but careful right there because we don't say if I have not. You have to exactly. use the negative form of past simple. So you say if I didn't. Aha, uh -huh. if I didn't. A family. And you need a verb. If I didn't. Have a family. I didn't have a family. I wouldn't be very happy if I didn't have a family. No sería muy feliz si no tuviera familia. Okay, nice. Uh, um, can you say uh, a different ending to the sentence, please? ¿De qué otra manera podríamos completar esta oración? Uh -huh. I wouldn't be very happy if I didn't have a family. ¿De qué otra manera podemos completar esto? Vamos, muéstrame lo que hablaron en los grupos. Veamos. No volunteers this time. Okay. Well, um, maybe I wouldn't be very happy if I didn't have children, si no tuviera hijos. Okay, for example. I wouldn't be very happy if, let's see, I lived... Uh, I don't know, uh, in a different country. I wouldn't be very happy if I lived in a different country. I love El Salvador, so I wouldn't be very happy if I lived in a different country. Rodrigo. If I got sick. Okay. <laughs> if I got sick. No sería muy feliz si me enfermara. Okay, very good. I wouldn't be very happy if I got sick. Great. Thank you. So what about number four? Number four goes, I'd buy, I don't know what, if, what can you say? ¿Qué se comprarían en qué circunstancias? Maritza. I did buy I, I a buy. car. Okay. I buy a car if had the money. If 
If I, hay que ocupar el sujeto siempre. If I if has money. Had money. Okay. I'd buy a car if I had money. Okay. That's a good way of saying this. Another possible sentence. Who wants to try? ¿Qué se compraría usted? Una casa. Un PlayStation. El último. No sé cuál es ya. <laughs> Tantos que hay. Uh -huh. El iPhone. I don't know. Zero. Okay. I buy uh, a new house if I have a lot of money. Okay. I would buy a new house if I had a lot of money. Okay. Nice. Maybe I will say I would buy many houses if I had a lot of money. And then I will give them for rent. And I will make more money. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> Businessman. So what about the last one? If uh, I saw an accident in the street, what would you do? Mm -hmm. What can you say to complete this sentence? Uh, I will call them. Uh, I will call 911. Okay. Yes, you can say that. If I saw an accident in the street, I will call 911. Okay, great. Another possible way to. Um, End the sentence, zero. Yes. If I saw an accident in the street, I give a give first accident. Okay. Ah, first. okay. I would give first aid to maybe to the, the injured. Home. People, okay. Yeah. Now you can say that. First aids, okay. Or, or first aid only, okay. Para no confundir con otra palabra, que es. Okay. First aid, or I will provide first aid to the injured people. Okay. Solo en singular, porque si no se confunde con otra palabra que no tiene nada que ver. Okay, but yeah, I will provide first aid to the injured people. Nice. Okay. Por ahí alguien me dijo, I will call an ambulance. Okay. That's nice. So if I saw an accident in the street, I will call 911. I will provide first aid to the injured people. I will call an ambulance, etc., etc. Very good. All right, that is great. So everybody, we have finished this section and now we have to proceed with the next objective. By the end of this class, we only have 15 minutes. You will learn verbs for describing events. Antes que hagamos esto, eh, quisiera recalcar nada más la importancia de trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, Creo yo que todos vamos avanzando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uy, me sacó de sesión. Vamos a iniciar sesión otra vez. Ok. La importancia de trabajar en la plataforma. Por favor, ya todos tendríamos que ir en la sección 5, más o menos como a la mitad de la sección 5. Y si es posible, avanzando todavía un poco más. El, y ya trabajando también en la parte del examen final. De acuerdo, para que no nos vaya después a acumular, no se nos vaya a acumular el trabajo haciendo esto. No son muy largos los ejercicios, si ustedes se fijan son bien cortitos. Se pueden resolver rápidamente, a veces solo es de poner de tres a cinco respuestas a lo sumo por cada uno de ellos, son bien cortos. Pero sí, ¿verdad? Aquí está Lesson Objective, luego uh, Conversation, hay que ver el video, por supuesto, Lesson Objective, el siguiente video completo, el Knowledge Check, ¿verdad? que es el ejercicio que hay que hacer. 
Y esto es lo que vamos ahorita. Ok. Lesson objective. Let's take a look. By the end of this class, you will learn. No, wait a second. Hmm. Antonyms. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's take a look. What about antonyms? Take a look at this. An antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. Okay. For example, hot and cold are antonyms. Also, good and bad are antonyms. Okay. Entonces, un antonym es una palabra que significa lo contrario de otra palabra. Eso es un antonym. ¿Y qué era la palabra que significa lo mismo que otra? ¿Cómo se llama esa? ¿Quién se acuerda? Veamos. Maybe. Ajá. That's good. Synonymous. In English, it's a synonym. Mm. Okay, that's a synonym. Y lo contrario es el antonym. Así que si se fijan, estas palabras son antónimas entre sí. <laughs> synonym and antonym. So, es lo contrario la una de la otra. Okay, entonces eso es un antonym. Okay, una pala dos palabras más bien que significan lo contrario la una de la otra. For example, hot and cold are antonyms. Good and bad are antonyms. So what are we going to do? Um, take a look, your turn. Find nine pairs of opposites in this list, complete the chart. For example, you have good, the opposite or the antonym is bad. And you have the words accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, and spend. Okay, so what are you going to do? This time you are not going to work in the breakout rooms. I am going to give you three minutes. Okay, three minutes. I want you to work individually. Okay, work individually to complete the list. ¿En qué orden lo va a hacer? El orden no importa en realidad. Okay, solamente que sean las, los pares de antónimos correctos. Eso es todo. Usted puede comenzar por la palabra forget si quiere. O puede comenzar con la palabra disagree. La cuestión es que encuentre la palabra que significa lo contrario. So I'm going to give you three minutes, starting right now. In three minutes, we're going to check answers. Así que tres minutos ahorita, de manera individual, quiero que completen esa lista en su casa. ¿verdad? Tomen apuntes ahí. Let's begin. Three minutes. Tres minutos a partir de este momento. Thank you. 
cerita keren yang kecil kita lagi. Ya, oke. Kita harus kunci. A minute and a half. Thirty seconds. Okay, um, have you finished or do you need more time? Um, finish. Okay, very good. All right, let's see. Volunteers, you have uh, the antonym good is bad. What about admit? What's the antonym? Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Rebecca, did you want to participate? Then. Okay, uh, the word is deny. 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 Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. You admit something or you deny. Okay, thank you, very good. What about the word agree? Easy. What's the opposite of agree? Sandra. Uh, disagree. Disagree, of course. Okay, thank you very much. What about the word borrow? What's the opposite of borrow? What's the antonym? Raise your hand, please. Rodrigo. Yes. I'm sorry? Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, not really. No. It's a different word. Zero. Lend. Lend. Correct. Okay. Borrow. Lend. Borrow is dar prestado. Ah, perdón. Tomar prestado. Okay. And lend is dar prestado. Okay. Good. What about enjoy? What's the opposite? Maritza. It's like. Dislike. That's right. The opposite is dislike. What about this word right here? The word is divorce. What's the opposite of divorce? Uh, Maria. Maria. Mary. Okay. Mary. Uh -huh. Mary, Mary is the opposite of divorce. Good. Thank okay. you. Okay. What about find what's the opposite what's the antonym lose Zero. Lose. 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 lose okay lose. okay that's right what about forget remember remember that's right it's remember very good and uh, the opposite of accept Refuse. Okay, uh, Rodrigo. Refuse. Well, well, you have the answer right there. Okay, it's refuse. Very good. The opposite is refuse. 
And finally, what's the opposite of save? Sandra. Spend. 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 Okay. Spend. In this case, save meaning ahorrar. Okay, you save money. The opposite, you spend money. Okay, ahorra dinero, gasta dinero. Okay, there you go. Very good. So uh, there you have it. The opposite of good is bad. Admit, deny, agree, disagree, borrow, lend, enjoy, dislike, divorce, marry, find, lose, forget, remember, accept, refuse, save, and spend. Very nice. Okay, so study those. Um, let's take a look at this. We have the platform. Before we continue, ah, access to resting here. Okay, okay. Before we continue, um, do you have any? Well, before we continue, I'm sorry. Do you have any questions about the platform? Algún ejercicio que les esté causando dificultad o que tengan alguna duda? Recordemos que ya tenemos que ir terminando esto. Esto es un, es un requisito, ¿verdad? Para poder pasar de nivel, tenemos que tener completa la plataforma. De acuerdo. So, um, do you have any questions about the platform? Algo que le esté costando, que le esté causando, um, digamos, dudas. O que les esté dando problema en la plataforma. Nothing. No, no. Okay, nothing. All right. So. I want you to complete the sentence. This is going to be the last activity. La última actividad. Solo nos quedan un par de minutos. If, sorry, if I could, no sé qué le va a poner ahí, I would, darles un ejemplo, if I could fly, I would go to Europe. Si yo pudiera volar, iría a Europa volando. Pero esto es por darles un ejemplo, nada más, ¿verdad? ¿Qué harían ustedes? Quisiera que me completen esta oración, por favor, con sus propias ideas. Si yo pudiera hacer tal y tal cosa, no sé qué le va a poner, yo haría esto y aquello. Ok, let's complete the sentence and then I'll ask for volunteers. And after that, we will finish the class. Another example, you can say, if I could play the piano, I would join a band. Me uniría a una banda, por ejemplo. If I could play the piano, I would join a band. What can you say? Mm -hmm. Sandra. Uh, if I could spoke English, I will travel around the world. Okay, pero hay un problemita ahí. If I could, ya este verbo está en pasado. Speak English. Ajá, uh -huh. if I could speak I will, English. I will travel around the world. Correct. Mm -hmm. If I could speak English, I would travel around the world. Very good. Okay, we have one sentence right here. I need a volunteer. What do you have? ¿Qué otras maneras tenemos para eh, formular esa oración? Nady. 
um, if if I call sync, I call win a gram. If I could sing, I would win a a Grammy. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. If I could sing, I would win a Grammy. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay, good, good. Um, another volunteer. I want to hear one more. Una más, veamos. I will visit her. Okay, uh, Rebecca. If I could sing very well, I would win uh, a competition. Again, can you can you repeat the first part? If I could swim very well. Ah, if I could swim very well. I would win a competition. I would win a competition. Okay, if I could swim very well, I would win a competition or a contest. Okay, nice, very good. Okay, uh, si no tenemos otra, no sé si alguien más quisiera participar. La última. No more. No more, okay. All right, so again, please complete the activities, okay? Ya mañana tenemos nuestra última sesión, okay? Así que procuremos no faltar, estemos conectados todos a las ocho y vamos a cubrir el último tema que, bueno, aquí está, the past models. Ese es el último tema que vamos a ver y vamos a también darle un... Le vamos a echar un vistazo al examen final por si alguien se nos ha quedado ahí en algo que a lo mejor le está costando resolver. Ok, eso sería para el día de mañana. Así que por favor trabajemos en la plataforma. Tenemos que ya solo nos falta el último tramo para terminar este nivel. So, that's it today, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you tomorrow and good night. See you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night.